Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create box plots in Minitab. In order to do so I've gone ahead and created an artificial data set here with continuous variables for X and Y, just randomly created variables, and I have 200 observations and two groups that I've created. Now I'd like to understand the distributions of these variables through a box plot. How can I do that? Well in Minitab we'll just go to graph, box plot, and Let's start with a simple one with just one variable and let's say that we're just interested in graphing a y. We'll click OK and we get our box plot. So if we put our mouse over here we'll get some useful information about the distribution including the median, some quartiles here, the upper and lower whiskers of the box plot which seems to run from a low of negative 2.29 to a high of 2.21 and our number of observations. These asterisks here represent outliers and if we hover over them we can learn exactly where they are in the data set in rows and what their values are which is very useful. So what we can do next here is uh, go and create a box plot for groups because as you recall I created two groups for this data set. So let's say I want to graph y but I want to graph the box plot as a function of these groups here. So I'm just going to put y here for graph variables and group here under categorical variables, click OK, and now we see our comparison. So here, for example, we see that the distribution of Y is, is nearly identical uh, comparing between groups 1 and 2. If we put our mouses here, we can see distribution information for each group, and once again, we have our information on outliers. Now what we could do is go back in and create a box plot that has labels which might be really a handy thing for you to know about so we can go in here and we can just call this really anything we we like we could just call it box plot number two you know test just any any text that you want I just want to show you what it looks like under data options what you can do is create some more subsets if you want if you want to include or exclude some information which here we don't need to because I've already created these subsets for you under data view you have some some more information here like uh, let's do one thing we'll do median connect line and show you what that looks like and let's go ahead and click OK and here we have our our new box plot we have its title we have its subtitle over here here's a median line that connects uh, the two medians um, and you know so there, there you have a slightly expanded version of what we just did by group you could also have gone into the multiple graphs dialog box and entered information for the X variable as well. In that case, Minitab would have gone ahead and generated two box plots for you at the same time. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.